Good afternoon, guys. Chris Gonzalez alongside Anthony Coleman, and this is my GSPN recap. This show is brought to you by GardenGrocer.com and Central Florida Chem Dry. Central Florida Chem Dry hooked us up with the gear, guys. Um, if you guys want to have your business featured on our show, just send us a little email over to media at mygspn.com um, and we'll hit you guys up with more information on that. But this past Friday night, we did have the opportunity to see an excellent, excellent basketball game. Yes, we did. The Okoye Knights took on the Windermill Wolverines in a pretty good matchup, man. Pretty good matchup. Yeah, it was for the 8A District 5 championship. Let's get into the action. With the full head of steam, the underdog Okoye Knights came out ready for what they knew would be a straight-up dogfight against the top team in the district. The Knights held Windermere to 39% field goal shooting, 28% from three-point range. At halftime, Dakota Rivers was leading Windermere in scoring with 14 points, four rebounds, and two blocks for the Wolverines. Despite none of Okoye's players scoring in double digits before halftime, Cordell Brown had seven points and David Green had a cool six. They managed to keep the game close and the score was 26 to 21 by the end of the first half. Coming out of halftime is where we really saw things take a turn. And this is where Windermere sophomore guard, Trey Moss, went on an insane and really turned up the heat on the boys. With his second half effort, he was able to finish off and go on a scoring rampage by scoring 24 second half points and finishing with a game high 31 points on 11 for 12 shooting for the Wolverines. Stay in attack mode, don't get passive. Just let the game come to me, don't rush it, don't. Don't do, don't do too much. Take the game once to play at a time. Dakota Rivers added 20 points, eight rebounds, and four blocks down low as the duo combined for 51 points and helped lead their team to win its first district title in school history. It's made up for everything. I worked so hard just to get where I'm at right now, and it just, it's a blessing to even be here. After the game, we even got a chance to talk with Okoye's head coach, John Sears, about their tough loss. I think we got out coached. Um, I didn't have our guys ready. I mean, we were in the bonus halfway through the third quarter. We didn't get to the free throw line. That's on me. And then, again, it's a six-point game, and then Trey Moss decided to go NASA. <laughs> to his credit, because he's a phenomenal kid. He's a better, better person. So that his credit, like, I mean, he had some unbelievable shots. So, Anthony, I mean, we were out at the game. That scoring rampage by Trey Moss was just absolutely insane. He had the whole crowd energized. Oh, wow, He was man. going insane. I mean, every time he got the ball, it seemed like he was scoring at will. And it was one of the most amazing performances I've seen from him uh, so far. And, and the scary thing is he's only a sophomore. Only a sophomore. And then him being a point guard, too, you know, he controls the team, so... From the rebound, he gets it, drives down the court, and he really leads the offense. Even when he doesn't score, you know, you can tell his pace of play, the way he pushes the ball, really drives Dakota. It gets Dante going. It gets Josh going. It really gets the whole team going. So, big game for you, Trey. What do you do your thing, man? As a young sophomore, too, like, that's, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Bro. And exactly. I mean, dude, looking, looking forward from here, Windermere's chances to get to that state title game are just getting higher and higher, especially with the way that they've been playing recently. Yeah. It's going to be tough to stop them. Now, looking ahead, like I said, we mentioned before, um, moving from the title game, both teams actually advance to the regional playoffs, mm -hmm. um, which are going to start on Thursday. Okoye is going to travel over to Melbourne, who's 24-4 and on the season. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of a tough game for Okoye, but we have seen in crunch time that they can pull out those big upset victories over the slightly, you know, teams with better records than them. Um, on the other hand, Windermere is going to host... Haggerty. The Haggerty Huskies are 12 and 11 on the season. Both games are going to tip off at 7 o'clock on Thursday. Be sure to tune in to our show on Friday for more updates on that. Tomorrow night, you guys are going to be wanting to check out some girls' regional playoff matchups. Some big games in the area are going to be Lake Highland Prep taking on Jones, St. Cloud at Windermere, Wakaiva versus West Orange, Dr. Phillips versus Oak Ridge, and Eustace versus Bishop Moore. Go on Twitter and vote for which matchup you would like to see. And tune in on Wednesday for full highlights from that game and also updates from the rest of the girls' regional semifinals. All right, guys. That's our show for today. For further sports and player news, go ahead and check us out at MyGSPN.com and follow us on our social medias. Instagram at MyGSPN, Twitter at MyGSPN Sports, and go online to create your free athlete profile at MyGSPN.com. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, GardenGrocer.com. If you're in the Orlando area staying at the Disney Resorts, go ahead and place an order online for groceries to be delivered to your room at the time of arrival. Again, that's www.GardenGrocer.com. 
And let's not forget Central Florida Chem Dry. If you need a carpet, tile, or upholstery cleaning, just give them a call. 407-315-1775. Or check them out at CentralFloridaChemDry.com. Once again, I'm Anthony Coleman. And I'm Chris Gonzalez. And thank you for tuning in again to this edition of My GSPN Recap, where it's your sports, all, all you, you, all the time. We'll see you guys next time. Hey, shout out to GSPN, man. Y'all already know the hottest coverage you dig.